Alexander John Aylesworth. Lived here in the city of Toronto almost all my life, uh, except for when I worked and whatnot. But uh, for the majority of it, I'm 58 years old. Born February 15, 1957, at 6:02 in the morning. Well, I've always made my own decisions, you know, uh, self-made. I'm a lucky man. I'm a lucky person. You know, I've had a lot of good opportunities in my life, and somehow I'll be able to seize them. Uh, I've never been married. Don't have children. Can't have kids. So that's the way that is. But you know, I made my choice back then. I've been in submarines. I stayed in the military because I believed in peacekeeping. When they turned against that, I can't do that. You know, I've always run around my life is, you know what, if I'm not happy doing it, I'm not doing it. That's the way it is. You know, I have to be happy, but you know, like, I'm not here to be sad or miserable or anything else. The more you're in the public view, the safer you are. And where I am, you know, uh, it's, you know, you can't be much more public. I went and rented a room when I first got back, and, and that didn't work. So, you know what, I decided I'm gonna go homeless. I'm an urban camper, and I make the best of the bad situations. You know, I try to, try to do the best I can, and still be pleasant to everybody. So I'm, a, I'm just one of those people type people. I just I love people, I love being around. How are you doing? Go Blue Jay! I try to get people to interact with books, you know, so I try to get as many diverse books as possible, but of course it's going to be something about history or about people, you know, and sometimes people of history. Every book I try to put through my library, I try to read. I haven't read them all, which I guess is a good deal, but not many people have, but you know, there's a lot of smart homeless people out here. Let me give me your money for it. No, just take it, take it, take it, take it. I do what I want when I want. If I don't feel like doing something, I won't do it. But I'll always do something. Oh, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Really Pick a bucket ball. One, Take that's it. it. Okay, fine. Fine. No, oh, fuck God, we call that a haul. Come on, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> hit the beer store. Oh, it's, is it closed? Not 8 o'clock. Huh? It's 8? Eight. It's Wednesday. No way. I choose to be alone. I'm on the streets. What, what do I have to offer somebody else? You know, I, until I make up my own mind, what do I really have to offer other people? You know? end up meeting Elwin after he moved into the building. And you know, we were just running up across each other. I, I know, so, you know, I invited him up to my place. 
Going to know each other. So I separate the metal here. This is brass. So I'm going to reduce all this down to just the basic. And I'll take that out to Scarborough. So there have a, there's a recycling uh, company out there. I'd rather do something to make money, you know, like that, just sit around, right? But that's just not me. I just, I like doing things. I like to be active during the day. And then by afternoon, I'm a little tired. So I, that's when I go, like to go back and read. Wake up every day and see your two feet is a good day. When, when the people stop and engage me, you know what? I feel so inclusive that I feel like I'm part of the um, society. And I'm imparting my view. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm giving them a whole new understanding of what possibly some, some people go through. Don't let anger chew you up. You know? Try to be happy. You know? It doesn't hurt.